how to lock a folder in Mac if you're using MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, iMac or Mac Mini, the steps are going to be same. Now I have already created a folder named private files. And as you can see, if I select that folder, I can check out the photos and videos which are already in that particular folder. Now, I don't want any other person to access this folder. So what will I do? I will lock this particular folder. But how can I do that? For that, all you have to do is you have to press command plus spacebar to turn on spotlight search on your Mac. And then you have to enter for disk utility. Once you do that, press enter and disk utility window will appear on the screen. Once it does, then you have to go on menu bar. You have to select file, then new image. And in that you have to select blank image. Now you have to create a new folder on which you can set a lock and then you can add these private files to that particular folder. For now, I'm going to rename it as logged folder. Okay. It's just for example, I won't recommend to rename that folder as locked folder because if you, uh, you know, rename it as locked folder, then anyone will know that, yeah, this is uh, where the secret files are hidden in your, in your Mac. So yeah, this is just for example. I have renamed it as log folder and in name, once again, you have to enter that particular name which you want for that folder. After that, you have to select the location on which you want to see that particular folder. Now I'm going to keep it on desktop only. You can add somewhere else. After that, make sure the format is APFS. We'll come back on size later on in this video. After format, uh, make sure the partition is set to single partition GUID partition map. And in image format, you have to select sparse disk image once you do that now we have to go in size option now if you select 100 mb only then that particular folder size will be 100 mb so if you add 10 mb photo and a video which is of 90 mb later on you won't be able to add any other things to that folder so make sure you change the size so we are going to keep 1 gb for now it's just for example you can add more size to it once you add size, then the last step is you have to select encryption option. In that, you have to select 256-bit AES encryption. And once you select encryption, you have to enter the password for that particular folder. And again, you have to verify it. Once you do, click on choose option. Now everything has been done. All you have to do is you have to click on save option. Now you can see a disk image named log folder has been created, which is this particular thing over here on the desktop. Click on done option. And now you can see in that there is a folder named locked. Let's eject it for now. Now to access that locked folder, all you have to do is you have to click this option first. So you, you have to double tap on this one and window will appear in which you have to enter the password. Now after entering the password, then only the locked folder will appear. And if I select this folder, now, currently there are no images because we haven't added any images or videos to that. Let's add this private files folder in which this files are there. So let's select it, command plus C, and then let's go back to that locked folder and press option plus command plus V to move that folder to this file. Now make sure whenever you open locked folder, don't forget to eject it. Now to open that locked folder, once again, select this option first, enter the password, Click on OK. Now, log folder will appear on desktop. Select that and now you can access your private files. So these are the simple steps you have to follow in order to lock a folder in your Mac. If you find this video informative, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.